Hello everybody, this is Donnie Rocket. Got another video for you from the GoPro Motorplex in Mooresville, North Carolina. This one is a little different than my previous ones. I was there on November 5th, I believe. It was a Sunday, and as you can see in the video, it's wet out. It actually rained most of the day. It rained a lot of the day on Saturday before I got there, and then Sunday it was drizzly the whole entire time. So this is a first for me. I've never been out in a uh, go-kart when the track is wet. But it turned out to be quite a lot of fun. Even though the first few laps were rather slow. Some of the pointers that the GoPro Motorplex uh, employees gave us was to stay out of the groove. If you hit the groove, it's going to be slicker, so try to drive out of the groove. Which is hard to do if you're used to driving the groove on this track, which I am. So, it was a little mental adjustment. But as you can see, these carts like to go straight in the wet as you approach a turn. I'm about ready to have my first spin out, I believe, coming around this corner. I gave it, give it a little gas and around I go, just like that. Wasn't much I could do about it. So I get back underway. It was good to have a few people in front of you, that way you can really see how slick the track is with somebody else doing it. If you see them get through an area without sliding, you try to go through it just a little bit faster than they did. So if you are behind somebody, it is a little bit of an advantage initially on this track. I'd say when we came out on this race right here, nobody had been on the track for a good solid half hour, it seemed like. So it was pretty wet. Again, it had been drizzling most of the morning. I was actually kind of worried nobody would show up to race because I got there around like 10.30 in the morning and sat there for quite a while until some people finally showed up. I really didn't have anything to do. I didn't have to catch an air, uh, my flight until about 7 p.m. that evening, so I was in no hurry. As you can see, the guy behind me has closed in on me. He was pretty good. I think he beat me in this race. We both finished around 80 seconds. Which, when the track is dry, the fast guys, I believe, are getting in the 63s. They may even get in the 62s. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But I'm positive they're getting in the 63s. And I ended up getting, I believe, third place in this race out of about eight people. And I was at 80 seconds. So it was way slower than dry conditions. Again, I barely lost any track, you know, track distance to the guys in front of me by spinning out right there. So again, I'm trying to stay a little wide of the groove. If I'd have been able to see behind me, I would have been able to tell that the guy behind me was definitely staying out of the groove and he was definitely gaining on I was laughing a lot while I was driving around because I could see people spinning all over the place. You see a few of them in the camera. That section was tough. The car kept wanting to go straight once you got a little ways around the turn. Same with this turn down here. The number 18 has pounced on me. I think I'll let him. If he gets past me right now. I was slightly worried he was going to slide into me, but he held his line. I'm out in the, I'm out of the groove, and I'm realizing, hey, my car's sticking halfway decent. So we're starting to go a little faster than we were about two laps ago. Got a guy spun out the truck right there. The guy that caught me, once he got in front of me and couldn't follow me anymore, he had to kind of do it on his own, and then he ended up losing it. The 
This guy right here, he was doing okay, but he had the funniest spin out of the day, at least for me. I just straight out laughed when, he, when this guy spins out right about now. Right as we come through here, it's pretty good. Adios, dude. I don't know why that happened, but the way he went. So now this is the second race. The track has dried out a little bit, as you can see. The guy that was behind me in the previous race is now in front of me in this race. And we have picked up the pace drastically. It's still drizzling. As you can see, the camera's got a lot of water on it. I had to start wiping my visor with my hand because it was gathering up a lot of water. But in this race, we knocked our times down to 73, and I actually, even though that guy's in front of me, I had a faster time than him. So I ended up being the winner of this race. So again, the groove has kind of dried up a little bit, so this is... I'm pretty much driving the regular line around here that I would take. Except for right there, I'm staying a little bit wide. But through these corners, I stay... basically in the groove. It's a little bit hairy staying this close to this guy through these turns, because... I still wasn't 100% confident that when I went to brake, my car went and just lock up and slide right into the guy. I think this turned out to be my fastest lap right here. I always had to kind of let up a little bit through those S's just because I didn't want to run into them coming through that corner. And then I would try to make it up during, through these turns. But again, if you've never driven a go-kart in the drizzle or the rain, it is quite a challenge. You're not obviously going to get your fastest lap times of the day, but it is a fun test of your driving skill to see if you can keep the cart on the path, on the track, with as slick as these things are. There's no tread on these tires, you're just driving around in treadless uh, rubber tires. that's about it everybody coming around at the finish line I think I'm gonna put the shake and bake on him and try to come around the side and that gives me a little bit faster lap time than him and I ended up beating him on this lap so hit subscribe and uh, I'll hopefully have some more videos coming your way soon thanks Donnie Rocket out